Fumulunji wewe walikuwe kumina Crest TV. Katirelo njagala tu, tunulile urban farming. Urban farming yeyo yo okulimanga sikwa nimiro nene na inga ne obera mu compound yo ewaka osobola okutekawo ekirime chonna katugambe greens ebintu ebili simple lero tuchaddeko in one of the schools that are practicing urban farming edanga tuli muyenga hai tugenda kubera nga tuita mu nimiro za wenga tulabe ebilime nga tulaba bye bayize mu yerachi basalawo ne batandiko kola farming instead of doing other things. I was from Lunjinga when I Gambia. Tuli muyenga high. Edanga, I'm meeting some of the students. Bagena kuwe edanga batu nyonyola. Chidime kuchimidime. Matubuli de kumanya gawe. Eda rachi. Ne positions zeba holding. Yes. You're most welcome. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Tria Leva John. Yes. And I'm the president of Agriculture Club Muyenga High School. Why did you choose Agriculture? Uh, we chose agriculture because uh, agriculture is the backbone of Uganda and the other thing is that it is a kind of business that you can start up with the lowest amount of money possible. Okay. How many years have you finished in Mingo? Uh, so far I've spent three years because I came here in senior one. You found when they've already begun, uh, when they've already started with the farming? No, the, the farming st uh, started in that very year, in 2017, when I joined senior one. So you mean you're the one who came up with this idea? No, I'm not the one who came up with this idea. There are some few people who came up with the idea, though they have now they have left the school. Some of them left in senior four. Mm. Yeah. So what are some of the plants I'm expecting on this garden? Okay, some of the plants that we grow here, we have skuma wiki, we have cabbages, we have spinach, we have some yams which we grow in sacks, we have tomatoes and very many others, and spring onions. Okay, let's have a look at the cabbages. Okay, we, we planted them uh, last holiday when it was about to end, because some of us, the members of the club, we remain at school so that we prepare our gardens, so that by the time the term began, begins, uh, our crops are already maturing. The school allows you to stay in, to stay around purposely for uh, your garden. Yeah, the school allows us, and it is the school that has given us this piece of land plus other plots that you will be seeing soon to practice this agriculture. How long has it taken to reach this stage? So far, this cabbage has spent one month here to reach this stage. Yeah. And then, uh, what are some? Okay, I want you to 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 give us the process. Okay, let's say maybe there is a viewer who is watching and is a student like you. We'd love to know, what does it require to plant a cabbage to reach this stage? Okay, when you are going to plant a cabbage, we have a few things that we consider. First of all, you consider the spacing, you consider the type of land, the kind of land that you are having. Also consider the factors that are around where you are planting your cabbages. Okay. Now, first of all, here we, we look at a certain spacing where we we space using 40 by 60 centimeters apart because these cabbages as you can see they can if they are still growing and they are still young they can spread their leaves so we don't want this plant to interfere with the other plant so we give them enough space and the other thing if your land is not well off let me say you're having great soil you can mix it with organic manure here at Mianga High School we mainly use organic farming where we get uh, wastes like cow dung and we mix it with the soil. When the soil is ready, then we plant. Okay. And the other thing is that the other thing that might affect a cabbage grower is that is the conditions and the care. If the if the place where you are growing your cabbages is very hot, means your cabbages will need a lot of care and attention because you will have to irrigate the the what the piece of land. You have to come and monitor and see whether your cabbages are affected or not. If they are affected, you spray. And then, um, uh, apart from the, uh, the spraying, the irrigation, what about the pests? Okay, the pests, we have very many pests that can affect these cabbages because these cabbages are, okay, they are very delicate and most especially at their young stage. Uh, we have some fungal infections where the cabbage can rot from down so it will get low yields. So to control all that, you have to maintain the moisture content of the soil. It, How do you do that? 
Like, okay, the soil shouldn't be so wet. If it's in the wet season, you, you are not required to come and again irrigate because you, it will keep the water, the soil so wet and damp. So your cabbages will easily rot. And the other thing, uh, these cabbages here, when you are passing in your garden, you have to walk with care because if it gets broken, even though it's a small piece that is broken on the stem, the whole cabbage will be affected. So a lot of attention is given to these plants here. Then what other species do we have? In cabbages. Okay, so yes. far. Mm -hmm. How many species uh, okay. of cabbages do you have? Here we are growing one species okay. of cabbage. Okay. Yeah. And we have also some three other vegetables on this plot of land that, that we are growing. We have skuma wiki and we have spinach. And I'm Which going one is skuma wiki? This is skuma wiki. Okay. And this one you can see here. Mm -hmm. And the other one is spinach. And explain a bit about the uh, let me the call wiki. let me call one of my colleagues to talk about the skuma wiki mainly because we do this as a group I don't do it as a person so, so yeah so everyone should have a chance to speak about what they are doing mm. to prove to the people that it's not the school that is doing but with the students who are involved in this thing yes madam how are you I'm very fine what's your name my name is Anemba was Joe and a student of Mianga High School Yes, I name Babas. They have told me you are an expert of Skuma. Uh, is it Skuma Week? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got. Tell us about the Skuma Week. Yeah, well, I got this idea from Mianga High yes. when when I entered this school, and then I joined the agriculture club, and all what I saw that okay, like it can really help me very much, mm. and doesn't take a long time. Like, yeah, it's Skuma Week. How long does it take to grow? Reach that point of harvesting yeah, it takes like six to seven weeks because also it grows on conditions mm. because there's a condition where we reach like it's a dry season mm. and by then you have to really spray, have to really water them uh, to see that they are growing up very well. So where do you get the seeds from? Yeah, well I got them from here because when my teacher, when, okay, like when he brought the seeds, mm. I was like, also I want to practice because I didn't know anything. Are you from a background of farming? Not really. Mm. Yeah. You, you just have the interest in farming? Yeah, I have that interest of farming and I, so it's so helpful to me. So far, out of the, 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 the little gardens I'm seeing, what have you, what have you benefited from? Uh, yeah, from here at school, mm. like the school doesn't have to go out and buy greens, you know, mm. like we get from our gardens. Okay. And also, like when the agriculture club goes for competitions, mm. like the real signs they show, they really get something. Like last time, they won a, a cow, you know. What? Yeah, they won a cow, the agriculture club won a cow, like it's for all Mianga High School, yeah. Also mm. some money. Mm. Yeah. And, and what uh, do you have an idea about the spinach? Well, when I'm sitting about the skuma wiki, mm. uh, this skuma wiki, because when I got the idea from here at school, mm. I also practiced at home. So you're planting some skuma wiki from home? Yeah, from it, okay. it's not like doesn't need a lot of space. Mm. You can also put in your sacks. So when I planted, I practiced at home, it really helped me. I don't need to ask money, uh, like breakfast, okay. you know, pocket money pocket from my, from my parents, you know. I get, you know, give my, I sell and then get some money. We eat greens also at home. Mm. I bought myself a school bag. Yeah, it's, yeah. That is so lovely. Yes, thank you so much. I name Baba Z. Now, um, we want to talk about the spinach. What's your name? My name is Naka Letisha and good morning everyone. Yes, I'm from Yanga High School, Senior 2, Agriculture Club. Yes, Naka Show us some of the spinach you have. Uh, we're having spinach. Okay, this is spinach mm -hmm. and it's a vegetable, first of all. Yes. It is a source of very many um, food values, for example, proteins, it gives us vitamins, for example, vitamin D. Uh, it contains also starch, which is a source of carbohydrates. So spinach is a very important vegetable in our lives. Mm. So that's why we decided to practice scum, uh, the planting of spinach at mm. our school. And w whenever we are planting spinach, we make sure that we regulate the spaces between the plants, because it also requires 
The reason is because if the other plant is affected by a certain disease or pest, it will not be easy for that pest to spread to the other. And that's why we maintain the space between the plants. And we make sure that this spinach is properly watered. We make sure that we water it in the morning and then in the evening. We don't water during the day or afternoon, just because there is a lot of transpiration. So the plant will be affected. It will lose a lot of water, and that's why we water in the morning and in the evening. So skuma, which since it is a very good vegetable, uh, we decided to plant it at our school, whereby we sell, it, we sell it to the school and that's why we are all looking good. You sell your spinach to the, the school, school administration. Yet it is the school giving you the land. This is Agriculture Club, oh, first of all. Okay. So it's Agriculture Club carrying out all these activities, mm -hmm. whereby we get our products from our gardens and then we, we sell to the school. Yes, the school cool. provides to the kitchen, mm -hmm. we, they cook for us a very great meal so and you, we at enjoy. at the end of the day you eat what you have sold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, does the spinach take the same period like the cabbages and the, and the skuma wheat? Uh, it's kind of the same but spinach, for the case of spinach it takes majorly four weeks, four weeks. to grow. Mm -hmm. and. So After the four, uh -huh, in, in, that is one in, month, in, you will be harvesting. For one month, I'm harvesting uh -huh. my spinach. You're harvesting your spinach. Mm. So you see that trade, eh? mm. it is not a very long period of time to harvest it. So it will be supplying you the economy, economy mm. whereby you will be getting uh, enough money mm. and not taking a lot of time without the products. Eh? That's because many, it takes a short How many times will I harvest from the spinach? Because what I know about um, the, 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 the 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 skuma week, the skuma week that you can keep removing, you can keep removing the, the leaves, the ones we consume, and it will keep bringing more leaves. Is it the same case with spinach? Yeah, it's the same. The same thing with spinach. Uh huh. You continue harvesting the leaves. Remember that you you pluck out some leaves, mm. then the rest remain growing. Okay. So even after some while or some time, mm. you come and also pluck the grown leaves and you take as your food. Okay. I'm seeing one of, of this, uh, the leaves being affected. Does it mean that it, was, it overgrew or it was attacked by some pest? Yeah, it was attacked by some pest and that's why we started spraying just because we saw it attacked mm. and we started spraying them with some some pesticides, pesticides mm -hmm. so that we kill these pests and that's why we encourage most of the farmers mm. to maintain the proper spacing between the plants just because you say this plant is affected mm. but this one is kind of not affected okay. just because this one is far away from the other one and the space mm. the pest cannot easily spread uh, that's all okay thank you so much i'm seeing pumpkins now these pumpkins are not mainly grown, okay, the main intention is not for consumption, but the main thing is that these pumpkins act as cover crops. So okay. as you can see, this piece of land is not so much stable, it's not stable, it's somehow slanting. Okay. So that when it rains, it somehow covers the soil, the soil is not washed away. Because this is a raised piece of land, as you can see. Mm. The other thing is that since it, it is not, okay, the main intention is not consuming, but when it produces something to eat, we eat. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. Thank you so much. Mm. Another thing is that my colleague here is going to speak about some of our inventions that we have come up in the Agriculture Club. You? I'm fine. What's your name? I am Chinturias. What do you have for us as well? The yeah, basically today I am Chintorius, the head of innovations in Yofa Club Muyenga. Okay. Yofa Club is the Young Future Farmers of Africa. Wow. So basically as the head of innovation, currently our innovation is called the vertical garden as you see it. Mm -hmm. It goes up. You know basically in Uganda today, these people of our country think that farming is having a huge piece of land, yet it is not the same case with Muyenga High. As you basically see that Muyenga High is in one of the most urbanized centers, mm. whereby there is no space. Mm. So 
we come out with innovations so that we can help out our school. And basically, out of helping our school, we are seeing that we are transforming the whole community at large. Basically, recently, when we took such innovations to outside centers, people saw it as something good and they started carrying it out. And therefore, we won some two millions just because of such innovations. Wow. Here, we have an innovation called the vertical garden. Mm. You can extend it the other side or up. Why? Because it is basically made of few futures, like we have wood and nails. What else can you see there? Nothing. The, the bottles. Oh, these, the bottles. these are not bottles actually. Mm. They are called gardens. Because here in Nyanga High, mm. we can grow crops everywhere. Mm. What do I mean? Even if it is a short or a trouser, we can grow there a crop. Like here we are having a sack, mm. we are having what you're calling bottles, mm. tins and so many others. Mm. We are basically doing this so that we give a chance to all those people who don't have land. Mm. For example, here, when we are carrying out our activities in Minyanga High, we follow three Ps. Mm. That is to say the people, mm. the planet, mm. and then profit. Mm. What do I mean by people? We incur in less labor. As you know, we are students. I have to go and attend lessons. Should I first cultivate the whole piece of land mm. so that I go to class? No. But if what, what if I have this? Mm. When a pest, I mean when a weed comes, I just pluck it out. Isn't it that so better? And planet, planet here in Uganda, we are conserving our planet. How? As you see that bottles are non-biodegradable. What do I mean? These bottles cannot be degraded to form humus. Therefore, we are using them to put in soil, then we can get a crop out of that. Basically, here in urban centers, our mothers tend to go to markets to buy tomatoes for 200, to buy onions. But what if I'm having this? What if I'm having this on my inside, actually, on the veranda? Mm. What if I'm just having this and I'm producing my own onions? These are spring onions. They work the same way as the other onions all of us know. Mm. Here we have different kinds of crops. We have the skooma. We are having... Okay, Rosemary. actually... Let me introduce my friend so that mm. she can also... You talk. can explain as Rosemary explains too. Okay. Mm. Rosemary, it is a spice whereby we put it on tea. Mm. Many people like it, therefore they can use it. Sister, you can also explain something. Okay. Hi. Chintu says you're the best in explaining out the rest of the gardens because... Um, the, uh, I was calling these ones bottles eh? and he no. said, no, 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 that is a garden. And yeah. you know where I grew up from? Eh? When you tell me of a garden, I think of a hole, then moving. <laughs> no, <laughs> to re things are simplified. Okay. This is also a garden because you can grow a plant and it germinates and it yields out very well. Okay, what's your name? My name is Ainamani Bonita. Ainamani? Bonita. Bonita. Okay, Bonita, g give us more elaborations about your gardens. I'm so, still very this is called a spring onion. Mm -hmm. It can be used in like cooking. Mm. It's more so of like these normal onions we use. It can also be good. Then, this is called rosemary. Mm. It is a spice. Rosemary as a name. Yeah, yeah. rosemary. Rosemary. Yes. Okay. It can be used like in cooking because mm. you can smell on it it has a nice scent is it down they always put in tea no mm. this is for rice okay. like then this one this one is called garden meat garden meat it is a spice for making like colgate mm. then this one is called lavender it's mm. also the same kind of this but this one is the one they normally use because it has more scent than this one so these are herbs for our teeth yeah okay then this this one is called stevia stevia is good in the way that it is a natural sugar it can be used with okay it can be used by those people with diabetes because it is sweet if you taste it i can eat it yeah is it healthy now yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a natural sugar. Yeah, it it can be used by those people with diabetes. Cause so what do you do? How, because here I first mm. chewed it to get the sweetness out of it. Yes, mm. you chew it. Like 
for example, here we've just innovated it. Okay. That's why it's on a smaller scale. But if you have on a large scale, mm. you can just chew it or you can put it blend in. It. Yeah. Can you blend it out? Yeah, and That's you cool. get that juice. Mm. You can also mix with hot water and then you take. Where do you get these crops from? Or the where do you get the seeds from? The crops, we just buy the seeds from. There are some places that they sell seedlings. Okay. And this one was brought by one student who just had it at home and we were like, we want spices. Okay. And then that person said, yes, I have some spices because she bought this and mm. then this one for the rice because she said that her aunt had diabetes mm. and then the they were advised to plant this but for us we didn't have where to get it but we just got it from her. Okay, thank you so much. I'm seeing something like uh, a tilled land. Yeah, Are we planting something inside? Yeah. Mm. We've planted some eggplants and we've just recently planted them so we are just expecting them to come out. But the land looks so hard. Will they come out? Yeah, it looks hard because maybe of the sunshine because we normally water them in the morning mm. and then in the evening. Okay. Now what's the use of the popo in the in the nursery bed? No, the popo was just planted before we put these ones. Mm. Then it can also provide shade because these seedlings don't need too much sunshine. How come here it's not covered but the next nursery bed it's planted it's it's covered? What's the secret? Uh, actually, mm. the seedlings, the seeds here mm. are more vulnerable than the other ones there. The seeds of an eggplant can easily grow out of so conditions. What seeds are in here? Actually, here we are having some skuma mm -hmm. and some spices there. So they need some shade and then that's not the same case with the other ones because the other ones, at least they can withstand. They can withstand the sun, yeah. but mm -hmm. this one can't. Yeah. yeah, these ones need a condition whereby you measure. You cannot give them too much sunlight or too much rainfall because they will just you will incur losses. Okay. But if the other ones come out, okay, like if they come out, we need to also cover them because the sunshine will be too much for the leaves. The leaves will wilt. Yet they are still young. Omlabi wa formulu nji tu chali kumuyenga hai. Nyumidua nji zewi ntubi nji nyo 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 kufambana. Choka nga bato. Katina nge neju semi yake. Josinga na iti leno kumuyenga hai. Kakati wanowe tuli tuli mu mayuni. Omwami yoni agenda kuweda nga atu nyo nyola. Eju ni di kulida banga. Ateze na kula manyi ama yuni. Baga simba muntobazi. Na ye kati wanondawa. But at the Muveda, Katinjagalo Mammy and Abedenga to Nyola at Woody the Kumanyage. Yes, how are you? Fine, how are you? What are your names? My name is Amarakato Hassim. Hassim? Yeah. So you're a Muslim? Yeah, I was once a Muslim, then I. You're went. born again? Yeah, I'm born Asalaam again. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Come here as we say. <laughs> okay, Kakati, I want you to, to, to explain to us why did you decide to come up with Yams? Um, as we all know that this is urban farming, yes. so here in Mianga High School, we do believe that not everything should be should be carried out on a big space. Mm. So we decided, because we all we all know that most people carry out the, the growing of yams on a very big piece of land. Mm. So here in Mianga High School, we decided to carry out the yam the the, the yam growing in sacks. Mm. But with their, it depends which type of the variety that you're growing. Mm. So the variety that we are having, it doesn't need a lot of water. So that's why we d we tr we decided to buy this d d this very variety. Then we plant it in the what in the sacks because it doesn't need a lot of water. I mean, it, it doesn't need a lot of water, you know, a lot of fertilizers. Mm. So this one takes approximately like six months. So this is, I think, the six month. So we'll be harvesting. We are going it. to be harvesting. Yeah. I come back at the end of this month and I get some. Yeah, we'll be harvesting at the end of this month. Okay. Why why did you decide to to to? Okay, like. Yams, you, you've said that, that those ones, I was telling my viewers that me, when I was growing up, I knew that they plant yams in what? In swampy areas for you to get good yields or to get a good yam. How did you 
this how did you discover that yams can also be planted in sacks and how have you maintained them as I told you, it depends which variety are you growing. Mm. So this variety doesn't need a lot of water. The other variety that is grown in swampy areas it needs a lot of water and it needs, you know, a, a, a lot of things like fertilizers, water. But this needs less water. Yes, it also needs water, but it needs less water. And why we decided to grow these yams, this variety, it doesn't take long to grow. It only, like I've already told you, it only it takes like yeah, six months. Mm. By the end of this month, we'll be harvesting it. So Kasim, what are some of the challenges that we are facing on uh, the some of the challenges that we are facing in this because sometimes we face uh, the pests and diseases so it's hard for us to control sometimes we control them sometimes we don't and the thing is uh, the the, the, med the, 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 the the medicine that we I, that we the, the, pesticides the, the pesticides that we have to use they are quite expensive mm -hmm. so here in Mianga High School we decided uh, instead of okay we do we buy those pests, the the, 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 the what, the pesticides, but we also do carry out the rabbit keeping. Mm. So we decided the urine that we'll be getting from our what, from our rabbits, we'll be diluting it in with, uh, we'll be mixing in some ash and some red pepper. So we come and spray on our what, on our yams. So we are going natural. Yeah. We are going natural. Yeah. The urine for rabbits. Mixed with the uh, ash, 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 the one, the one that comes out of firewood. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. When you mix it together, it can give us a pesticide yes. for yams, yes. for, for yam pests. Not for only pe for yams, but for all the what? The crops that we grow here in Myangai. You can use it to spray on the yams mm. and cabbages, mm. kumawik, spinach, whatever kind of a plant that you have. Kasim, are you con sure that you have practiced it this and it has worked? Yes, I'm sure it has worked. Because most people, we all know that the urine for rabbit, it is bought. Some people use it as fertilizers. Some people, as, some people use it as pastry, what? pastry repentance. Here in Myanga High School, we are using it to spray in our crops so that we don't get any challenges of these pests and diseases. So we don't need to, we don't need to spend a lot of money buying this pest, uh, the, 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 the Pest redundant what medicine? We only use the rabbit's what urine. You know, we believe that you can't do something until you're benefiting out of it. What are some of the best the, the benefits you're getting from the yams? Uh, some of the benefits that you're getting from your yams, mm. dear ladies and gentlemen. We all know that yams are not that much known. Uh, okay, they are known, but they are not on market. That's yeah, they are, they are that's scarce. Yes. So here in Mianga High School, and eh? when we are learning economics, scarcity leads to what? Yeah, to demand. demand okay. Yeah. So here in Mianga High School, mm. we grow these yams. We take them to market. Remember, they, they are not that much. Okay, they are okay. People are not having. Uh huh. People people are not having them in market. So for us, we go take them there. We tell them each year we are selling at two thousand, and we make a lot of money because we have not invested in it a lot. We have not. We, I mean, wasted a lot of money buying the pay the pay redundant and see what we have only spent less money. So this money is it for a school or it's for you? It's for students? us, the students, agriculture club students. The teachers are giving back this money to you, or you're taking the yams by yourselves in the market. It's like us, we the students, mm. we are to take like fifty percent, and the school takes fifty percent of the profits. Okay. Yeah, because we also we also invest in our energy doing the stuff. The teachers also help us okay. in some of the things, so we take fifty. So 50. you're being fair to each yeah, other. Thank you so much, Kasi. You're welcome. Thank you for loving agriculture, mm -hmm. and the show you're watching right now is farming the future. The time Kasim turns uh, forty years, yeah. forty, or, uh, <laughs> which we, we, how uh, which years are you planning to? get rich um as per now i'm having 17 years i'm sure but by the time when i'm to have like 30 something yeah mm. 30 something i'll be someone who will be very rich just because of you'll only be our model farmer okay thank you so much kasim omlaviwa from lunge tutu se kumkomeo ya program ya fe na yenga tetu naba kumaliriza chichicho izemu Siga mbati tuwa gade tugendeko muyenga hai tulababa nanga wevali ya oba weva ambala na ye Nkulete de chintu nti no mwana we waka na mwana student wobo laba sheno Chichicho igamu ate guatali njira kodala kusomero Chichicho oize 
tandi kawa kwa ntaka tini tini abazade muigiriza abana okulima but teachers they have played their role bageze zako abana baba igiriza na yo muzade chogombo mwana wobo mugambi echintu tachera bila muigiriza abana okulima these gardens buntu butini ndoza mula bia one of our whole zone to smanya vertical garden just okwa ataka chupa no take no simba akatungulu no lekila okwa tebibi yogenda kuduko gula katungulu mwebali kwe kumila crest tv